what's up with a happy Roblox family. on your desk, but trust me, they're not going to bite. Now, where's Molly? Is she late again? Oh, I don't want to have to give her detention. I'm not late. I'm not late. I swear it. I'm not. Molly, I saved you a seat. Come on, sit down. La, 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to close the curtains. Uh, I just want to sit down in my seat. Oh, wow. Look at these frogs. I know. They're kind of cute, right? Um, Yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, but are they gonna bite me? I just got done telling the class no one's frog is going to bite them. Oh, frogs are like so gross and boring. <gasps> I'd rather read my, read my fashion magazine and pretend this wasn't happening. Sarah, please put the magazine away. Brookie and Molly, please stop talking. Oh, guys, this is the same stuff I tell you every single day in class. Why aren't you listening? All right, so Molly, I'd like you to go to the board, please, and answer number five from your workbook. Workbook? Workbook? What's a workbook? Uh-oh. She's not going to be very happy if you're playing dumb. I don't, I don't know what a workbook is, Mrs. Griffin. Molly, quit goofing around. You're being ridiculous, and I don't want to have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. <laughs> no, seriously. I have amnesia. I can't remember anything. Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> this looks super hard. Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh, Molly, sorry. I had soccer practice, and then I came home, and... I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing and Molly, ugh, I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I mean, I've given you enough detentions. You think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard. I think I'm just gonna quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me and I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese on an island. Ugh, I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Ah, uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <gasps> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay, why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? <laughs> really? Um, eh, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck! I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffin? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God. We're all doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. You just wait and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. 
Um, all right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute, most frogs have a so, s small number of them have front teeth. Uh, but, but, I'm, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole, slamming this book shut because the teacher literally just said to us that these frogs wouldn't bite and you want to know what? Um, they can. This textbook, we, we can't use this because we can't even like think about this right now. I'm throwing it in the trash. Wait, what are you even talking about, Molly? I threw that textbook away because Mrs. Griffin said frogs don't have teeth. So either she lied to us or this textbook was wrong. Either way, we're not using this book. We're going to be able to learn Molly style. Okay, um, so does anyone know what color a frog is? Ugh, this teacher is such an ignoramus. Um, they're pink. What? No, look at the frog right in front of you, Sarah. Do I have to give you a failing grade today? I know, I know, they're green. But we learned about this before we even started preschool, Molly. Is that the grade level you're at? Um, perhaps. Boo! This teacher only gets one star. Yeah, and you smell like a rotten taco salad. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I kind of, well, uh, Molly, don't even say it. Okay, well, I did have a bean burrito, and, well, we know what happens when I eat a bean burrito. Brookie, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Molly teacher. What questions do you have for me? Do you think frogs are cute? Yes or no? Um, well, uh, not really. Fail! What? Th this teacher is terrible. Bring back Mrs. Griffin. I'm sorry, Molly, but I had to say that even though you're my BFF. <coughs> we should stop talking about the frogs. We seem to be having a little bit of a disconnect here. Let's talk about quantum chrome. Oh, dynamic. How are you going to talk about it when you can't even say the subject? Um, I know a lot about quantum chromodynamics. Money, where are you going? Um, I'll be right back for just one second. She went outside to Google it, didn't she? Um, yeah, probably. A few minutes later. I'm back, and I know what quantum chromodynamics is. And theoretical physics... Quantum chromodynamics is the theory of the strong interaction between quarks mediated by gluons. Yeah, that sounds about right. See how smart I am? No, I see that you're an ignoramus like every single day. Uh, Molly, bring Mrs. Griffin back, please. So it seems everybody at the school hated Molly. So she cried a lot. I'll give you two stars sent to my sister. Yeah, I don't think you can fail the teacher. Although that should really be, a, a, like, totally a choice because most of my teachers are lame. What? I love this school. Of course you do. Why is my frog looking at me funny? Is he gonna bite me? Yeah, sure. The frog wants to eat you, Daisy. Well, you never know. The book said that frogs have tea. Ugh. Both of you are ignoramuses, which makes sense because you're sisters. Also, I think you're getting a pimple. Wait, what? I have a pimple! I have a pimple! This is the worst day ever! What am I gonna do? Ah! Daisy, sit down! You're freaking out! What are you doing? I don't have to listen to you! You're not the real teacher! Um, okay. I quit! Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> this is a disaster. So. Have you learned your lesson, Molly? Yeah, you're a much better teacher than me. You can have the job. Hey, Molly, I see you're back to being a student. Absolutely. This was terrible being a teacher. Never, ever again. Well, I guess you're back to just being a 
lowly student like us staring at frog teeth. <laughs> and I'm happy to be it. Holy guacamole! Daisy, come here, look at this! What, Molly? I'm reading for my class. You're just looking at a picture of a rat. Okay, yeah, but I was just checking my email. And, and I, got a, I got a message from our teacher. Oh, great. You have detention. Again. No, no, no. This is really exciting. Um, <laughs> we're having pizza for lunch tomorrow. No, even more exciting than that. <gasps> I don't know anything more exciting than pizza when it comes to you, Molly. We are going on a school field trip. Woohoo! <laughs> going to the water park. <laughs> going to the water park. <laughs> oh, Molly, that's amazing. I can't wait. I can't wait. Wait a minute. Molly, stop dancing. <laughs> Molly! Sorry, I got a little too excited <laughs> doing the chicken dance. And I had a taco for lunch. We can't go to the water park, Molly. What? Why not? Because that's going to cost a lot of money, and we don't have that kind of money. But, 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 it's the water park. Maybe it's free. Molly. You know the water park isn't free. And when it comes to school trips, we have to pay to go ourselves. Remember when we went to the Philadelphia Zoo? Oh, I remember it all right. I remember it perfectly. Stay away from me, Psycho Bunny! Stay back! Stay, stay back! Oh, you're so cute and also very creepy! Ah, it's chasing me! Oh, bad memories! Bad memories! Only you would get teased by a psycho bunny. <laughs> oh, yeah, so funny. Anyway, this school trip is going to be so much cooler. Yeah, Molly, except for the fact we don't have any money to go. Ow. Oh, you're right. The best day ever just turned into the worst day ever. I feel like I'm going to cry. I need to go call Brookie. She'll listen to me cry. Uh, Molly, maybe she's busy. She's never too busy to talk to her best friend. Not ever. Hey, Brookie, it's me. Can I call you? Hey, Molly, sure. You never want to call me on the phone. You just want to text. Is everything okay? I'm just going to call you. Hi, what's up, Molly? Are you okay? Not really. Did you get the email from our teacher? Yeah, I totally did. A, a school trip to, to the water park? That sounds amazing. <coughs> yeah, except for if you're me and Daisy. We don't have any money to go. No, I don't really either. I only have like $5 saved. Really? That's more than I have. I don't know what to do. Look, Molly, you know I sort of have an entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> and, well, I was just thinking of a way that we could earn the money to go to the water park. All three of us. Seriously? You have an idea? Of course I do. I was thinking that we could start a lemonade stand. Hot dog, Brookie! Hot dogs? No, Molly, I don't think a hot dog stand will do as well in Brookhaven. I think lemonade is where it's at. <laughs> No, 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 I meant like hot dog. That's a good idea. You have all the most brilliant ideas. Well, unless it's about science, then Daisy's got you beat. Or if it's about, well, detention, you're pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, totally. So, uh, you want to help us build the lemonade stand? Of course I do. According to my calculations, if we charge 25 cents per cup of lemonade, do -do -do -do, it will probably take us about two days to earn enough for all three of us to go to the water park. Unless we're really lucky because I make the world's best lemonade. And if people know about my lemonade, they're going to come here for sure. There, the 25 cent sign is all up. And I nailed it down just so it doesn't blow over. Wow, this looks amazing, guys. I can't believe we built this. The sign looks so professional. You have the best ideas ever. Time to test some of the lemonade. Uh, Molly, I don't think so. <laughs> Woo, it's really, really tart. We need more sugar. We need more sugar. Oh. <laughs> oh. Molly, are you okay? 
try to look professional. I'm even wearing a lemonade stand uniform. I can't even move. That was so sour. Needs more sugar. Man, all of this building our lemonade stand it was hard work. I'm starving. Me too, Molly. What do you have to eat in your house? I don't know, but I'm thinking DoorDash. Molly, we're spending our money before it's even made. Hey, you gotta spend some to earn some. And me having an empty stomach doesn't make me very friendly to customers. Okay, Molly, you have a point. What should we order? How about a pizza? Because those aren't very expensive. And there's a lot of slices, so we can get a lot for a little. You're so smart, Molly. Thank you. One large pizza, extra cheese. Anybody want pepperoni? No, no pepperoni. No, no pepperoni, Molly. Just extra cheese. All right, it says it'll be here in two minutes. Wow, fast delivery. One minute, 37 seconds later. Oh, where's the pizza? Oh, it's been like one minute. There she is. Hi there. I'm here from DoorDash. This is like the hundredth order I've done today. Not a single person has given me a tip. Oh, cool. Um, well, I could give you a tip, except for I don't have any money. I'm sorry. That's why I started this lemonade stand. Again, I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm used to it. Here's your order. Wait. What? Wait, get back here! These... This, this is not pizza! These are sauerkraut sandwiches! Ew, that smells like somebody's Ew. dirty foot. Yeah, and, and 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 I don't like smelling dirty feet sandwiches. Oh well, Molly, just just get a refund and try again. Fine. It's not like I was starving or anything. One large pizza with extra cheese. <sighs> Quit sending me sauerkraut sandwiches. Here she comes again. Uh, hopefully this time she didn't send us anything gross. Well, Molly, I would have eaten a sauerkraut sandwich. It's kind of good for you. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, um, here's your order. Didn't you just order something? Yeah, and you brought us sauerkraut sandwiches. It was the wrong order. No wonder you're not getting any tips. Sorry, I'm doing my best. Here's your order. Have a nice day. Uh-huh, sure. It, this is KFC. Ooh, I love KFC. I know, but we ordered a pizza. My tummy was all hungry for one. Molly, remember in the freezer in the basement, Mom was saving that extra frozen pizza? We could always eat that. Yeah, good idea. Mm, this frozen pizza is actually pretty good. Yeah, mine's still a little frozen in the middle, but I don't mind. Mm. <laughs> it's like ice pizza. Very interesting. Well, now that we're done eating our pizza, I guess we're just going to have to wait for our first customer. They should be here any minute. Yep. Any minute now. Any minute. Any minute, they're going to just drive right down our street. Or walk, or ride their bike, or push their baby in a baby carriage. Yeah. And they're going to just have to pay us 25 cents for our lemonade. Where are all the customers? How are we ever going to go to our water park trip if, 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 if nobody comes? Don't worry, they'll show up, Molly. I'm sure of it. Still not a single customer! Ugh, this is not going to work. We're not going to even get one customer! <laughs> Molly, you have to be patient. Oh, look! A customer's coming! I see them! They're, 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 they're way on their way! Look at that! There's a Bentley coming up! They're gonna buy us like a hundred cups of lemonade and we're gonna close and go on our trip. Oh wait, no, that's Brookie's mom. Hey girls, Brookie, it's time for you to go home. You have to do extra studying. <gasps> but, but mom, I, 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 I'm doing my lemonade stand. Come on, Brookie, we had an agreement. You need to work on more schoolwork. Oh, bummer. Well, see you later, Brookie. Bye, guys. It was cool hanging out with you. Bye, Brookie! Mom, I can't believe you made me come home early. Look, Brookie, you are not doing good in math class. You need to spend more time studying, or you might have to repeat the grade, or, or do summer school, or worse, both. But, Mom, it's not fair. It's so nice outside, and my friends are running a lemonade stand, and you're making me stay here and study. 
well, your teacher said you got a terrible grade on your math test, so you need to go to your room and study. I've got some things to do around the house. <laughs> Fine, Mom. Brookie, I know you don't want this, but I'm doing it for your own good because I care about you. Uh huh, sure, Mom. Don't want to be doing extra math homework. This is so lame. I, I need to do something. Maybe the teacher will let me work for extra credit. Or maybe the teacher would just think I'm a nice person and give me a better grade. She loves chocolates and flowers. I could go to the store and buy her those. And I bet she'd change my grade. I just have to sneak out so that my mom doesn't see me. La 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 la. Ugh, there's so many dishes here. How does a family that's so small make so many dishes? Ugh, I hate doing the dishes. Well, I'm a grown-up, so I guess I have to. Look, Molly, I think we finally have a customer. Uh, Daisy? That lady is riding a horse. Well, maybe her horse is thirsty. <laughs> well, howdy there. I was wondering if I could have one of your lemonades for me and one for my horse. <laughs> Seriously? You want two lemonades? I sure do. It's pretty hot out here today. My horse gets really thirsty. You betcha. Two lemonades coming right up. Better make it three. Those are smaller glasses, and my horse is so thirsty. Well, it's sort of an interesting customer, but it's a customer. Oh, wait, Molly, give her three lemonades. Um, this is our very best lemonade. It's super delicious. Here you go, horsey. <laughs> you know, you're gonna freak out like you did when that psycho rabbit teased you. No, I love horses. They're amazing. Lemonade, get your delicious, freshly squeezed, extra sugarly lemonade. <gasps> Hi. Extra sugary lemonade, you say? Oh, I could use a boost. I'm trying to get some extra homework done tonight. Well, I've got the thing just for you then. 25 cents, please. Sure thing. Ooh, this looks delicious. Mm. Lemonade, get your fresh hot lemonade. Molly, lemonade's not hot. And if it is, add more ice cubes. Hey, what's up? Whoa, he's sort of cute. <laughs> uh, Daisy, um, thinks you're cute. Molly! <laughs> Oopsie, I don't think she wanted you to know that. Um, she's just kidding, by right, Molly? Uh, so can I have, like, a couple glasses of lemonade? I gotta go work out at the gym, and I'm really thirsty. Okay, sure, here you go. Whoa, thanks. And, uh, you're cute, too. Oh, me? Uh, no, the pigtails. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, thanks. Step back any time. Bye. Oh, boy. You are ridiculous, Daisy. <sighs> but at least we've made tons of money. I think we've actually made enough so that we can uh, go on our water park field trip. Only thing is, is I drank some lemonade, too, and I have to go potty. So don't I really bad. Well, I'm sure the lemonade stand will be okay for a minute while we both go. I'll race ya. Bye, <laughs> Molly. Ay, ay, ay. Hurry, Molly. I gotta go really bad. I'll try to. <laughs> but no promises. <laughs> that frozen pizza was kind of cray-cray. Molly, hurry up. I've gotta go too. All right, all right. I'm coming. Did you stink it up there, Stinky McStinko? Um. Uh-oh. Ay, 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 Molly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bathroom. You're supposed to sink it up. Last one to the lemonade stands. A rotten, stinky egg. Oh, wait. You already are that. Oh, very funny. Hey, Daisy, where'd you put the money? What do you mean, where'd I put the money? You probably took it up into the bathroom with you. Daisy, this isn't funny. There's like $50 missing from the 150 That's a whole portion of the money. Where is it? Honey, I'm serious. I don't have it. Well, you must have it because it's missing. I don't, Molly. I'm very responsible with money. You're the one that's not. Well, I didn't take the money. Oh, my God, Molly. Somebody stole some of our lemonade money. What? Th 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 that means that, that the three of us best friends can't go to the water park field trip together. <gasps> oh, no. This is terrible. I know. How will we even tell Brookie this has happened? It's all our fault because we took a potty break and... No, Molly, it's not our fault. It's the thieves' fault. 
Oh no. Mrs. Griffin looks like she's in a great mood today. Uh oh. Not. Mm, what are you doing here early? Class is in for another 20 minutes. Um, Mrs. Griffin, I brought your favorite. Aww. White roses? What? Why'd you bring those? I also brought your favorite Hershey's milk chocolate bar. That's nice. Why? It's not my birthday. Well, I just know that you're my fa you're your favorite. Those are your favorite, I mean. Sorry. I'm a little tongue-tied, but also I'm hoping that I could be one of your favorite students and maybe you could change your mind about the bad grade you gave me on my math test because <sighs> I can't go to the water park if you give me a bad grade. Sorry, Brookie, but no can do. You got the grade, you earned the grade, you keep the grade. What? But I brought you flowers and chocolate! And they'll smell delicious, both of them. Wait, what? Are you going to eat the flowers? I mean, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm a math teacher, not an English teacher. Or a language teacher, or whatever. Okay, um, well, could I do extra credit for a better grade? Please, please, I'm begging you. Okay, meet me after school. I'll let you do the extra credit, and then we'll talk about a better grade. Thank you, Mrs. Griffin. Thank you. I just can't believe it. This has been the worst day of my life. Well, Molly, it's just started. Maybe it'll get better. If it's anything like yesterday, I don't think so. Hey, guys. What's... Molly, Daisy, what's wrong? <gasps> Someone stole some of our money from our lemonade stand. They are evil, they're a monster, they're a criminal, and as soon as I find out who it is, I'm sending them to jail forever. What? Molly, you're being ridiculous right now. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Oh, really? Is there ever a reasonable explanation for someone being a thief? I don't think so. And I'm going to pursue the law to a thousand degrees. Uh, Molly, I'm not really sure that's how you say that. I don't care. They're going to pay for this. They're going to pay. Because now the three of us can't go to the water park together. Molly, I think you're being rude. I mean, I'm sure they had a good reason to take that money. What? I don't even know what you're talking about, but, but can't you see my tears in my eyes? You're supposed to be my best friend. Uh-oh. Okay, class. You can argue on your own time. Get in your seats, please. Are you ready for your extra credit? Um, yeah, but why are you holding a mop? Because, wait a minute. <laughs> Did the janitor quit? Are you taking over his job part-time? No, you are. What? Why would you have me clean the school? Do you want to go on this water park trip and have your extra credit or not? Um, yeah, I do. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Count the classrooms as you go. It'll be very good, simple math for you to remember. Oh, hello. Are you selling Girl Scout cookies? Oh, why are you crying? Because, um, I have a lemonade stand with my sister and my best friend across the street, and, and someone came and stole some of the money, and I was wondering, do you have a ring camera so I can review the footage and see who it was so I can turn them into the police? Absolutely. Um, let me just pull up my iPad. Okay, we can look at this together. Um, okay. Here we go. Let's take a look. <gasps> what? Are you kidding me right now? It was Brookie who stole the money? Oh, M. She! Hey Molly, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. Did you come by the lemonade stand and steal the money? What? Well, I, I, okay, I helped build the lemonade stand, Molly, and, and well, well, you were supposed to split the money with me, but you still came by and didn't say anything and stole it. Well, I, I was going to, but you seemed so angry that, you know what? Th 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 that's it. We're not friends anymore. You're in deep trouble. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I need the police. Stat. Uh, my lemonade stand has been robbed by my best friend, and I'd like to press charges. Uh oh. Whoa, harsh. You guys aren't going to be BFFs after this. She deserves this. She stole money. Wow, the janitor has a really hard job. 
Are you Brookie? Cookie? Uh oh! Uh, yeah, that's what my friends call me unofficially. You are under arrest. What? Is this about the lemonade stand money? Absolutely. A thief does the crime, a thief does the time. <gasps> but that was my money. I only took my portion of it. Sorry, but I have no choice. A thief is a thief is a thief. Every thief thinks the money is theirs, and it's not. I can't believe my best friend would do this to me. I, I, I'm I, never going to be your best friend ever again, Molly. Not ever. Uh-huh. That's what they all say. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Yes, but I don't want to be. My best friend is so mean. Blah, 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 Molly. Well, that's all you could come up with as a comeback? Well, I... Yes! I'm too mad! My brain is... I don't know. I've been mopping all afternoon. It's probably the fumes from the Mr. Clean. I understand. Sometimes I have to clean, clean the pre pre-stinked bathroom after everybody stinks. Ew! Up. Ew, gross. I don't want to be a cop if that's a part of my job. Oh, I can't believe this. All I did was want to go on the field trip. Oh, oh, now I lost my best friend and I'm in prison. Worst ending ever. What a beautiful day in mermaid land. I wonder what I'm going to do today. Goldie, Goldie. <laughs> Goldie, there you are. Hey, Goldie, are we going to have an amazing adventure today? Sure, Molly, where are we going? Um, I don't know. First, we got to go find Daisy, though, because I'm sure she's going to want to come along. This is going to be an awesome Saturday. Where could she be? Mermaid Land is huge, so I'm not really sure. Wait, is that oh, her over there? Molly, I'm over here. Oh, you brought your turtle. Of course, Molly, my turtle goes everywhere with me. Hey, Title, what's up? Hey, Molly. <laughs> you and Goldie are the cutest pets ever. Molly, what are we going to do today? Well, I'm kind of hungry, so I thought we could go get a smoothie. Sounds good. Let's go. Mmm, I love smoothies. What should I get today? Bananas and cream, strawberries. I'm not even sure yet. Okay, Goldie, what kind of smoothie do you want? Um, I want orange juice. Okay, I'll get you some orange juice. I think I'm gonna have orange juice too. That just sounds good. What are you gonna have, Daisy? Um, I haven't really decided yet, but Tidal is standing next to the green juice because I think because Tidal is green, Tidal wants to have a green juice. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, Goldie, here's your orange juice. Oh, thank you. It's delicious. Mmm, this is the best smoothie ever. Mmm, so good. Mine's really good, too, Molly. What do you think of the title? I love it. It's delicious. <laughs> so the f whole day is ahead of us, Daisy. What should we do? We could do anything in Mermaid Land. It's the most magical place ever in the entire universe. I have to agree. I never want to be a human ever again. I want to be a mermaid. I want to be a mermaid forever. Hey, look, Daisy, there's Miss Fortune. Molly, Mom told us never to go in there. Evil things happen there. What? Nah. <laughs> I think that's just made up. Well, she said she gets in all sorts of mischief. She's a bad mermaid. Nah, nah, nah. Mom's probably just not wanting us to spend our allowance on it. Molly, I don't think we should go in there. I really don't. Yeah, I'm going in, Daisy. Come on, chicken. Are you coming or not? Molly! I don't like this place. It's really weird, Molly. It's okay, Goldie. Don't be afraid. It's just all for show. Well, hello there. Hi, Miss Fortune. Um, nice to meet you. So, this is your first time here? Um, yes, it is. And we're just leaving now. Come on, Molly. Yeah, Molly, let's go. No, no, no. Guys, stop. Oh, my gosh. Goldie is trying to hide behind me. Tidal! Tidal is hiding underneath my tail because I'm too afraid to be out here. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Miss Fortune is very good at magic. 
Uh huh. That's exactly why we're here. Molly, I have a bad feeling about this. Come on, let's go. Daisy, no! I want Miss Fortune to read our our palms or tell us something with the magic crystal ball. Okay, Miss Fortune, we're ready. Oh, <laughs> I'm not Miss Fortune. I'm just her secretary. I'm Miss Fortune. Whoa! Uh, Miss Fortune? You look, uh, well, uh, she's creepy! Molly, are you really trying to get your fortune read by her? Oh, hey, Jay, uh, yeah, I am. Uh, Molly, I think it's a really bad idea. Okay, okay, I know, everyone says that. Having your fortune read is a great idea. <laughs> okay, that sounded really evil. Yeah, I have to agree, that did sound a little evil. Um, I think we'll be going now. I don't think so. I've already started reading your fortune. What? How do you do that? You didn't even look into the crystal ball. I'm so magic, I can see things with my eyes, like the future. Well, I have to admit, your eyes are slightly creepy, and, um, yeah, they probably can see futures. I bet my future is beautiful and sunny, just so happy like a flower, since my name is Daisy. Actually, I see you're both in grave danger. What? Grave danger? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you be? I see, I see you both might perish. Perish? What's that? Is that some sort of food? No, Molly, it means die. Oh my gosh, Molly, what are we gonna do? Thankfully, I have a magic potion and it'll make your future happy and dreamy and wonderful. Um, okay, but does it taste like cupcakes? <laughs> Molly, I think this might be a bad idea. Daisy, we can't let our future be all ruined now, can we? We're going to perish. You two should listen to Miss Fortune. She knows what she's talking about. Thank you, Miss Fortune Secretary. Well, do you want the potion or not? Um, uh... Okay, we'll do it. Molly! Okay. So, um, do we have to drink it or eat it? Like a piece of cake or what? Actually, you just stand here. And I am going to sprinkle it over you. What? That's a weird magic potion. Well, Molly, she's the sea witch. She should know. Uh, calling her a sea witch isn't very nice. Maybe she'd rather be called Miss Fortune Teller. I don't care what you call me. <laughs> now let's get started on this potion. I've got to say, my stomach is growling a little bit. So I'm kind of wishing that you were a sandwich instead of a sea witch. A sandwich instead of a sea witch. <laughs> Hold still. I'm trying to give you this magic spell. Okay, okay. Here you go. We're standing still. Go for it. Daisy? Daisy, what happened? Molly, I don't know, but that spell put us somewhere different. It put you in prison. What? No, this can't be. Yeah, no, we're not in prison. Look, I can go right out the side. Wait, no! I, uh, the sides are made of, of glass and, and magic. We're stuck in here. What? It's like a giant fishbowl, Molly, and we're stuck inside. And so are we because we're your pets. Oh, no! I told you it was a terrible idea to go see her. It's okay. We still have our magic necklaces. Maybe we can make this uh, work out for us. We, we could get out of here. Yeah, right, Molly. We're just baby mermaids. We, we don't know how to do magic yet, even with these magic necklaces. Okay, well, we've got to try something. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I hear the evil sandwich. I mean, sea witch. Oh, brother, Molly. You're still thinking about your stomach? Well, I'm sorry. We've been in here a really long time. I'm hungry. Molly, we've been in this prison for like two seconds. Okay, well, I, I I, need something to eat. All I had was a smoothie for breakfast. I need a cupcake! <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> I see you fell for my trap! <laughs> Molly, do you notice something about her? Um, that she's evil and she has horns and she has the creepiest eyes on the entire planet that I've ever seen? 
Uh, yeah, besides that. Um, not really. She just seems evil. Look at her arm, Molly. Wh what's that? It's a chain, Molly! From prison! Don't you see? She was so evil, she was in prison! That's right! Silly, silly babies! <laughs> I broke free to wreck havoc on Mermaid Land! And I've started with you! What? No! Daisy, we have to use our magic to get out of here! Come on! Daisy, we can do this. Just think so hard. Think good thoughts. Think of the happiest things you can think. Okay, Molly, I'm doing it. Okay, now push on the glass. Push on the glass. Daisy, it's working. It's working. What? No, get back here. Daisy, Goldie, Tidal, swim as fast as you can. Molly, this is crazy. Get back here, you little mermaid baby brats. You were supposed to be my first victims. Get back here. Oh my gosh, I have to go into the cave of light. She'll never be able to go in there. Wait a minute, where's Goldie? Where's Goldie? Molly, here I am. Goldie, oh, that evil sea witch. She can't come in here. This is where all the good mermaids go to collect their good energies. Molly, I told you we should have never gone in there. And next time, Daisy, I just might listen to you. Now should we go get a sandwich? No, no more sandwich! Yeah, no, I really mean like a, a real sandwich. Oh, yeah, then we definitely should. I'm starving. Hey, guys, what's up? It's me, your friend, Rookie Cookie. And, guys, today, my BFF, Molly, and I are playing Escape the Evil Mom. Why she doesn't get a tissue, but ew, she totally is a boogie. Gross. I am so excited to play this Roblox game with my BFF. Me too. It's going to be so much fun. Brookie, I'm excited to be on your channel. You're doing so amazing on YouTube. Aww. Aww. Thank you, Molly. Molly and I are really supportive of each other, um, especially when we play Roblox for YouTube. And I'm just really happy that she taught me how to be a YouTuber. Okay, Brookie, this is teamwork, so we have to work together to escape this evil mom. Okay, I think we can do this, Molly. I'm not too worried because we're really good at teamwork. You go first, Brookie. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Don't worry, Molly. I think we both got across and we're okay. Whoa, it's like the game glitched right there. It just knew that we were BFFs and that we couldn't live without each other. Oh, that's such a nice thing to say. Boing, boing, boing. Um, Molly, I think I accidentally died. Can you wait for me? Of course I will, Brookie. Hey guys, do you ever play at Roblox with your best friend? If you do, or if you really want to, slam that like button. Oh my gosh, is that? Oh my god, there's a, there's somebody from um, Among Us in here right now. Um, uh, Molly, I think we can actually become the evil mom. Oh, MG, let's see how much it costs. Who's that, evil dad? Four, 400 Robux? Oh, I have insufficient funds. Womp, womp, womp. I guess I just have to play as myself. Yourself is pretty awesome. Wait, Molly, you were supposed to be waiting for me. Where'd you go? Molly? Molly? Down here, Brookie. Jeepers. I knew we were paying attention. Sorry, I was trying to become the evil mom and I got like a little bit distracted. And there's all these um, imposters everywhere. Oh yeah, I used to play Among Us back in the day quite a bit actually. I haven't played in a long time, maybe I should. Yeah, that'd be really fun, maybe next time we will. Oh, wait, I think I'm supposed to go back here and go through the wall. Brookie, are you sleeping right now? <laughs> maybe. Okay, I'm standing on the blue button. Where should I stand? I don't get this part. Let's see. This is the only... Oh, I see. It makes the fan stop. Okay. Got it, Molly. <laughs> I was totally ignoramus there for a minute. Okay, I think you have to go in there and that makes that fan stop. Don't let it chop, chop, chop me, Molly. Don't worry, Brookie. I'd never do that. Okay, Molly, I'm standing on the button for you. Come on, come on, come on. Na, 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 na. Uh oh, wait, I'm not supposed to jump up and down. I would definitely chop your head off, and that would be so bad. 
Yeah, because then you really would have to live without your best friend. Um, guys? Ah! It's definitely Ash! She got you, Brookie! <laughs> oh, man! Aw. The evil mom with the booger in her nose totally killed me. The evil mom with the booger in her nose totally killed me. Nice song, Brookie. You've been hanging out with me too much, I can tell. Um, maybe just a little. You come up with all these silly songs just like I would do. Um, guys, she has an old school phone. She's old and evil. What? A red key? What am I supposed to do with that? Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, she got me! Oh, no fair! Actually, I say that all the time, but the truth is, Brookie, it is pretty fair if she gets you. Because, like, it's just a part of the game and stuff. I know, but... I don't want to die. <gasps> Wait, she's coming down the hall after me. That's, wait, that's not fair. <laughs> never give up and never surrender. I can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, 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 you can do it. <laughs> you have the key, Brookie. You picked it up. Oh, thank goodness. I thought maybe I was never going to get out of here. All right, guys, I have the key. The evil mom is still chasing me. It's like I can feel her breathing down my neck right now. <gasps> there is the lock! Oh my god, Molly, we're about to unlock the door. I'm so happy right now. Oh, finally, did she follow us? Yeah, she's still patrolling the hallway. No big deal. Go ahead, Brookie, go on up. Okay, Molly, I'm going. Um, okay, there's a red button and a blue one. Whoopsie. Okay, I made it. All right, Molly. Um, go ahead. You have to get on there and then come back up. Wait, I think you have to let it go down first. Okay, there we go. Hey, imposter, stop that. My friend has to get on it. And there's no Molly. Oh, wait, there's Molly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Molly, it was just like your head all of a sudden. It was so weird. I know. These games sometimes just glitch and then it's just ridiculous. Um, I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Oh, back over here to the red one. Okay, got it. All right, Molly, go ahead. I'm gonna, um, send it up. All right, guys, here comes Molly. <laughs> she was, like, half in there and half not. Okay, um, I think we're supposed to go in here for a minute, Molly, and pick up a crowbar. Not really sure why, but I think we're gonna probably definitely need it. I'm ready for the next stage. <laughs> now I have to help my BFF up here. Aww. You got this, Molly. Come on. Did you get the crowbar? Yeah, I got a crowbar. Let's see if we can pry our door open and get out of here. Get away from this evil mom. I think we need it for this vent right here, actually. Yeah, we do. Got it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, there is a blue one and also a red one wait where's my best friend she gets stuck in the vent or something molly where are you one eternity later oopsie i thought i picked up the crowbar but i didn't oh molly that stinks okay but we can keep going everything's gonna be fine so um now i have to jump over here and where should i jump now okay maybe over here Oh, Molly, I need the red ones now. Yeah, perfect. And now I need the blue ones again. Bossy, bossy, bossy. Sorry, I just want to win the game. Okay, now I need the red ones. And I think I can make that jump. Okay, now your turn, Molly. This um, imposter wants to be our friend really bad. One minute, 37 seconds later. That's sort of cheating though, Molly. You know that? We're supposed to use like teamwork for this. Okay, fine. Um, how do we get across? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna jump on the red one. And then okay. Whoa! Why did I go into the water? I don't I don't understand. That was weird. Ones. Okay, Molly. Um, you can get on the blue one if you want. Okay, let's go. Um, Rookie, there's a little bit of a lag if you haven't noticed in this game. It's kind of glitching, so, um, yeah. 
Wait till I get on things, okay? Oh, sorry, Molly. <laughs> Whoopsie. Molly's kind of grumpy. Do you guys think she needs a piece of pizza or something? What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. Wait a minute. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Brookie. <laughs> oh, man. How are we getting back there now? Uh-oh. Um, use your jetpack? Okay. Aren't you glad I have this thing now? <laughs> oh, the imposter's helping me, Molly. <laughs> I guess I didn't need your jetpack after all. Oh, you have a new BFF, do you? Uh -huh. Well, he does seem pretty nice and very helpful. Fine. He could be your BFF then. <gasps> oh, Molly, don't get jealous. I'm rocket launching out of here. Molly, come on. We need to help him too. He's been helping us the whole time. Wait, where is he? Um, little... Okay, there he is. Oh, no! We're in a dungeon! This evil mom never wants us to leave, ever. Whoa, whoa, I'm just running for it. <laughs> it's like almost like you can't even die. You just keep running. Okay, now let's help our friend. Come on, little guy. Okay, you can do it. Okay, and then the blue one. There you go. I guess I can share you as a best friend. Well, no, I'm going to be your best friend. He could just be your friend, okay? Uh-oh. Sure, Molly, if you say so. Come on, come with us. You know, if he's the imposter, he's going to be evil, right? Um, well, uh, maybe? Should we be helping him? Seriously. Oh, my God, there's the mom. Um, oh, wait, I've got to shoot at her. Uh-oh. Whoa, she looks super angry. I think I'm shooting tennis balls at her. Or maybe they're rotten eggs. I don't know. Something smells like a rotten egg. Never give up and never surrender. Brookie, you can do anything. If I put my mind to it, whoa, 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 I can do it. <laughs> oh, Brookie, you saying that like really high in your voice. I know, right? I was like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I don't normally sing that much, guys. Brookie's a good singer. What are you talking about, Brookie? I'm okay, but not that great. Oh, right now, I just don't want to die because I'm so close to winning. I just want to win on the very first time that I try to take her down. Oh my gosh, she got so mad. She ass. That was weird. Come on, let's go up into this awesome treehouse. She can't get us up there. Exactly. Can our little Among Us friend come? I guess, as long as he's not the real imposter. I guess we'll never know, Molly, but he did try to help us, so I think we should help him too. Um, apparently I went the wrong way because I can't... Ugh, there we go. Perfect! I finally made it! Wait, are we to the end? Nope, we gotta use a zipline. Whee! <laughs> now we're at the end! Bye, evil mom! It was so much fun trying to escape you, and then we actually did, because when BFFs work together, we can do anything. That's right! Remember that time that we looked for money in the couch cushions and everything? And then um, we went to the store and bought something with it. But we decided to buy fake nails. We could only aff afford one set. So we each had one hand with fake nails on it. <laughs> I do remember that. But guess what? We were matchy-matchy because we were best friends. I had my right hand with... Um, wait a minute. Where did I just go? Did it just take me back to the beginning? Oh, that was weird. I like, I like went all the way back to the treehouse. Anyway, we're like matchy matchy because you had nails on one hand and I had the same nails on the other. Even if we couldn't have all of the nails. It was so cool and also weird. And also, why do I keep coming back up here? Apparently, I can't go to the winner's circle. I don't know why. But guys, thanks so much for watching today. Please slam the like button and subscribe, guys. I really want to make it to 100,000 subscribers. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye, guys! <laughs> I'm not late! I'm not late! Yes, you are, Molly. You were supposed to be here by now. Yes, but I still have, uh, let me look at my watch. Uh, five seconds to get into class. <laughs> no smiling? That's right. I'm not feeling like I'm in a very smiley mood today. Whoa, who's this substitute teacher? 
I don't know, but something tells me it's not going to be a very nice day. Are you still smiling? Seriously, there's no smiling in my class. You can't help it. My face froze this way. It's so cold outside. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Froze that way because it's so cold outside. Molly, she's not laughing. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, you in the front. What's your name? Molly, um, are you calling on me? Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. You had plenty of time before class. Why are you choosing to go now? Well, I can't help it when I have to go to the bathroom. It's kind of out of my control. Why do teachers always say that? Like, like you can decide when you have to go to the bathroom. Hello? Not a choice. <laughs> I really have to go. She really does. Ew. She had beans for breakfast, obviously. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> yeah, like another thing teachers say, make it quick. Like, I can really decide when I have to go to the bathroom and stuff. Like, seriously. I'm going to text Brookie right now. Hey, don't act like you don't text people when you're going potty. <laughs> don't even lie about that right now. Everybody gets on their phone when they're on the toilet. It's just, it's just like the real world. Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn off my phone. Oopsie. Whose phone just went off? This is school, not social hour. It's Molly. She's texting me from the bathroom. What? Why would she be doing that? Ay, ay, ay. She's just going to get another detention. It's just the way that it is. Brookie, why didn't you text me back? Excuse me, were you the one that texted her? Um, yeah. There's no texting in this school. It's a rule. Except for when you're at lunch or recess. Are you at lunch or recess? Um, uh, I'm always thinking about lunch, so I'm saying yes, I'm at lunch. Detention! <laughs> but not by me, I'm a substitute, so I'll write your teacher a note. Oh, man! Rookie, that class was crazy, right? Uh-huh, sure, crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, so what are you doing after school? I don't have detention because the substitute didn't want to stay for it, so we could hang out. Uh, no, I... I don't think so. Wait, what? Brookie, we hang out every single day after school. Well, on the days that I don't have detention, that is. No, I, I'm i not going to hang out with you. Um, okay. I have to get to class now. Goodbye. Um, bye. That was weird. Brookie always wants to hang out with me after school. Man, I hope I didn't do something wrong. I mean... I always text her when I, like, escape off to the bathroom during class. And maybe it got her in trouble and she got mad at me. I don't know. I'll talk to her about it at lunch. Ugh, none of this even looks like something I would consume. Hey, Brookie, doesn't everything look delicious? No, I'm not going to eat anything. Why, you got the stomach flu? No, I just don't want to eat anything, okay? Whoa, Brookie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, um, you could drink some of this water. Whoa, be careful with that, Molly. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to almost spill water on you. Ugh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing everything wrong today, Brookie. It, it's fine. Just, just don't spill water on me, okay? Why? You gonna short circuit or something? <laughs> uh, no, that, that's not even funny, okay? All right. Sorry. Nothing wrong with my BFF. I mean, seriously. Hi, Large Mudge. Everything looks delish today. Oh, so glad you like it. I was gonna put anchovies on the pizza, but I know you kids don't like that too much. It's good protein, though. Ew, fish on my pizza? Don't even think about it, Large Marge. Why are you so sad, Molly? Well, you see, my best friend is... She's just acting differently. Oh, well, maybe she's just having a bad day. We all have those. Yeah. Maybe. I need to find out what Brookie's doing right now. She doesn't want to hang out at my house. That's so weird. She was grumpy and jumped back from the water that I almost spilled on her. I mean, well, that's not that weird, but sort of. I want to know what's going on with her. Are we not BFFs anymore? I have to make sure she knows that I'm not spying on her. If she finds that out, man, she won't want to be my friend at all. What's she working on? One more adjustment. 
and it be perfect. What is that? Brookie doesn't work on things in the garage. <gasps> My best friend is a robot! Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, better run. Oh my god, my best friend! She's not real! She's a robot! I gotta tell Daisy! 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 Molly, shh! I'm trying to do my homework! Big surprise there, but, 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 but! Whoa, you look like you've seen a ghost, Molly! Have you? Um, because that would be creepy and we should probably move out of Brookhaven. No, worse! Worse than a ghost? What could it be? My best friend, Brookie, shh, sh sh she's a... A robot! What? What are you talking about? Look, all of the signs point towards robot. She didn't want to hang out after school. Weird! She didn't want me to spill water on in the lunchroom because I think she would short circuit. Weird! Then I just went by her house to spy on her and... You spied on your best friend? I had to! And turns out she's not my best friend. She's a robot version of my best friend! I saw her building something for her robotness! Body! Whatever you want to call it! Robotness? Is that even a word? <laughs> uh, no, I just made it up. But anyway, why didn't they come to me to school people on how to speak um awesome words? I obviously know what I'm doing. What? What are you even talking about? <laughs> anyway, I'm telling you, she was working on her robot body. Holy guacamole! You don't believe me, do you, Daisy? You never believe me. You always say these are tall tales, fairy tales. Oh, this is no fairy tale, Molly. And yes, I believe you. Truth is, robots have come a long way in the last ten years. And I think this is absolutely a possibility. You do? Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that I was being ridiculous. No, Molly, we definitely have to test it. See if it's a robot or not. Yeah, tomorrow we'll spill lunch on Robot Brookie and see what happens. Good plan, Molly. Good plan. There she is, Daisy. We can prove that she's a she's a robot now. I hope everything goes as planned, Molly. Robots can be totally psycho. Yeah, here goes nothing. Hey, Brookie! Oh, hey Molly, what's up? Hey, um, I, I just have to prove something to my sister. What are you doing with that water can? Do it look like a flower to you? No, but sorry about this. What what are you doing? You're getting short-circuiting. What? More water! More water is needed! Molly! It's obvious. Your science experiment has failed. What? Wait, what? What are you guys doing? My sister thought you were a robot. Yeah, you are a robot, aren't you? What? <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> you thought I was a robot? What? Why? Because first you didn't want to hang out with me after school. Weird. Then you did not want to eat any lunch. Robots don't eat food. And you were freaking out I was going to spill water on you because you would short circuit. Is she for real right now, Daisy? I'm afraid so. Then I came and spied on you and you were working on something in the garage. What? Uh -oh. You spied on me? That's just rude. Well, what were you working on in the garage, huh? 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 Um, my science fair project? Oh. Oopsie! Wow! They should have, like, some sort of show about this. Uh, it would be really good. <laughs> the lives of cafeteria students. Yeah, I can see it now. Haha! <laughs> Large Marge, that's a great idea. Um, we're sorry, Pookie. I'm really sorry for believing my sister's craziness. Hey! I, 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 I just couldn't figure out what was going on with you, Brookie. Well, it's okay, Molly. I'm sorry if I have been acting kind of like a robot. I guess that's what happens when you haven't slept good for two weeks. What? You haven't slept good for two weeks? Why? Well, let me explain. Ugh, that is so loud. I can't sleep. I'm so tired of this. That's it. My new band is awesome! Oh my gosh, what are you doing? It's midnight! Huh? What's, what's that, sister? I said it's midnight and I haven't gotten any sleep! Well, my first gig is this Saturday and I need to practice, okay? 
want to be the best I can be. Well, practice it at normal time! Obviously, you don't know anything about musicians. We stay up late, sleep all day. So, that's why I've been acting a little bit like a robot lately. I feel like a robot with no sleep. I haven't even wanted to eat anything, really. I've just been so tired. <sighs> well, you could do what I do and just leave class and say, I have to go to the bathroom and then fall asleep on the toilet. <laughs> Molly! What? Sometimes I need a little nap. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think I'm going to go try it. I'm glad you're not a robot, Brookie. Um, yeah, me too. And I'm glad we're still friends. We're friends, right? Of course we are, Molly. I know how zany and crazy you can be sometimes. And I still love you because you're my BFF. Aww. Thanks, Brookie. Thanks. Molly, give me that TV remote. I don't think so. I'm watching Brooke High. Molly, give me it. It's my turn with the TV. <laughs> you can't catch me. Nee, 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 nee. Oh yeah, Molly. Watch me. Ah! Are you are you spraying me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, that's so rude. Give it to me, Molly. I wanna watch the news. Seriously? What are you, a hundred? Why would you wanna watch the news? Boring. Molly! Turn the channel to the news station. Oh my goodness, my sister's such a brat. I'll show you right now, Lydia. I can't believe I'm on the news. This is super cool. Whoa. Uh, and now you never have to water again? That's right. I just give my plants a little pat, though, because I want them to know I still care about them. Oh, that's sweet. Wow. I'm not feeling so good. Oh, I feel very strange. You're probably just nervous from being on TV. That happens to a lot of people. I want to eat your brains. What? What did you just say? I want to eat your brains. Ah! Oh my god, the owner of, of Dr. Green Thumb has turned into a zombie. You heard it first, folks, here on News Channel 10. This could be the story of a lifetime. Oh my gosh, the new potion that Dr. Dr. Green Thumb's business created turns everything green into a zombie infection. That's right, Brookhaven residents. Don't touch the color green! Unless, of course, you want to be a brain-eating zombie. Molly, did you hear that? That, 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 that sounds insane! What? <laughs> I think they must be joking. Is it April Fool's Day? No, Molly. It's not April Fool's Day. It's July. April Fool's Day happens in April. Okay, well, that can't be true. Every green plant in Brookhaven, if you touch it, will turn you into a zombie. That would be like the end of the universe. Yeah, well, I think it must be true because I saw it on the news. Nah, the news is full of fluff. And, um... I think it's a lot of... Oh, Molly, did you just fart? Yeah, it's a lot of doo-doo. That's what it is. Oh, boy, Molly. Please tell me you won't touch the color green. Please! Hey, Molly. What's up? Are you playing some soccer? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Did you see the news? Uh, no, I never watch the news. It bores me so much. Me too. So, you didn't hear anything weird going on in Brookhaven? No, not at all. Wanna hang out? Yeah, sure. Okay, let me just go put my bike over there in the grass. Um, I don't think I should touch the... Uh, don't, don't touch the... Oh, don't be silly, Molly. That was just a prank. Oh, wow. I don't feel so good. Uh... Brookie? Oh my god, it wasn't a prank. Molly, how could you? The news was telling the truth. Uh, don't look now, but our BFF is having... Some major problems. <laughs> brains. Give me all your brains. Yeah, I should say so. Poor Bookie. I never thought that it would come to this. Well, as long as we don't touch the color green, everything should be fine, right, Daisy? Yeah, exactly. We can avoid the color green, like forever, right? Yeah, totally. So sad. I lost my best friend to the zombie apocalypse. 
Molly, your shirt. It has green on it. A little green alien. Huh, what? Ah! Oh, my God. And so is it everything green? Because I've been touching this the whole time and I'm not a zombie. Oh, maybe it's just the plants and the trees and everything living. So your shirt is okay. Oh, hopefully the whole town isn't a zombie yet. I'm going to go out and take a look. Okay, the door won't open now. Uh-huh. Unlock! Uh, I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get a cupcake. What a stressful day! Ooh, look at that green apple. That looks delicious. No! Don't touch that! Didn't you watch the news? What? No, I'm starving. Ah! You're touching the color green! Oh my gosh, you're gonna turn into a zombie. What are you talking about? I think this apple tastes fine. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts now. I guess I wasn't that hungry. Here you go. You can have it. Oh, ah! Why did I catch that? Oh my god, no! 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 Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. It's happening, isn't it? I'm gonna turn into a zombie! Brains! Brains! Why can't I get, I get up off the ground? I'm a lazy zombie. Ugh, so much like my human self. Marty? No! Molly, not you too! My sister! No! Molly, you stay back. Stay back from me, Molly. Uh, I want to eat your brain, sister. I am so hungry. I better go to my science lab. Try to reverse this horrible potion. Molly, please. Oh, no. Brains. Want to eat your brains. Let me in. Don't you want a nice, delicious cupcake, Molly? You love cupcakes. Yes, brain cupcakes. Stop saying brains! Brains. Wow, you're even annoying as a zombie. Go figure. I've been working night and day for an entire week, but I think I know how to reverse the zombie apocalypse that's happening. All I have to do is mix up this potion, and I should be able to cure all of Brookhaven by putting a few traps in the water source. I just hope I'm not too late for my sister Molly. As annoying as she is, she's more annoying wanting to eat my brains. City of Brookhaven, don't worry. Scientist Daisy will cure you all. I'm on my way. Uh-oh. Did I just touch the color green? Oh, no! I've doomed all of Brookhaven! It's happening! It's happening! 